is it's Malia and I just got back from a long trip at Disney and when you're at Disney you walk a lot your feet get tired you get tired in general just sore so I thought well what not stretch so I'm gonna be doing a nice stretching routine with y'all but I'm pretty sore just from other things too so I'm gonna be doing like stuff with deep lunges and over splits stuff like that really getting into it so let's go I'm gonna be doing a really deep lunge. Make sure your knee doesn't go over your ankle though. So just get deep into it as you can, but not, don't go to a split or anything like that. Just go deep into that. Hold it for, depending how badly it hurts, don't go where it hurts, just go where it stretches you nicely and just go deep into it. You might wanna go for 30 seconds, 15 seconds if it hurts and yeah. Once you've done that, you're gonna want to go into runner's lunge, which is the same thing, but your back leg is straight and you're kind of like that. You still don't want to go over your ankle, just keep it like that. And that really stretches that too. You can only have to hold that one for about 15 seconds. And then you can go into, um, what's it called? I blanked. Straighten leg, nose to knee. You're gonna really want to try to touch your knee to your face. Er, touch your nose to your knee. And spread your hands out a bit farther and really get in the stretch. Hold that for about 15 to 30 seconds. Once you've done that, you can go into your splits slowly or fast, but it might hurt if you go into it too fast. So just hold that for 30 seconds to a minute. It will feel so nice. If your back also hurts, we are going to do bridges, but if your back also hurts, you can lean it back as far as you can, but if it hurts, don't do it. So once you've hold, held that for long enough, you're gonna do the other side. Remember, get into a deep lunge. This is my bad leg, this is my left leg. So it's definitely not as deep, but we're working on it. Um, like I said, you want to hold it for 15 to 30 seconds, depending on how much it hurts. For me, my left leg, I guess it, I could say it hurts a bit more than my right, but it doesn't hurt where I would only hold it for 15, so I would hold it for 30. But once you've done that, you're going to want to go into your runner's lunge, same thing. Make sure your knee isn't like over your ankle foot. So you're just going to want it right on top. You're going to really get into it. You don't want your foot in the back to be like trying to stay flat on the ground. You can push it up like that if needed. But yes, once you've held that for 15 seconds, you're going to want to go into straight in your leg. Nose to knee. I didn't blank this time. Okay. See, you don't... Just getting your knee, nose to your knee, that's good. But it's not good if you're doing it wrong. You just want to go as far as you can without bending your leg. Like, what's the point of doing it if you're doing it wrong? You just want to slowly ease into it. Say, I can only go this far without bending my leg. Then go ahead. But if you go all the way down and you're like that, then it's not worth it. So you just want to slowly get into it. You can put your hands up there if you feel like it. Like I said, 15 to 30 seconds. And once you've done that, go into your splits. My splits can be all the way down, but it hurts. So I slowly ease into it. I kind of put pressure there. And that's how I do that. 
So I'll hold this for 30 seconds to a minute. This is my bad leg, so it hurts more. So I need to hold it for a minute, but yeah. And once you've done that, now we're going to do some over splits. So let me try to position the camera. Like I said, you're gonna probably want to do your good leg first if you just got out of your bad leg splits. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be that far off the ground for over splits though. I'm using a, like a lowish beam just because it's the only good thing for over splits I have. But you might want to just use like stack a few pillows up, put your foot on it, and that could work too. So you're just going to want to be in your nose to knee right here. Slowly straighten out your back leg and go into it. And then hold that for about 30 seconds because it'll hurt more. If, unless you're extremely flexible, <laughs> then it might not hurt. And you might just want to hold it for 60 seconds or so. And then we're going to do the same on the other leg. I'm definitely not going to be able to go all the way down in this one without it hurting though. So. This is my bad leg, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's good. So hold that for 30 seconds. If it's your bad leg, unless it doesn't hurt, then you can hold it for 60. But once you've done that, we're gonna do some bridges. So, <laughs> one sec, okay. If you're not quite good at these yet and you still bend your arms or your arms are like that, you're probably going to fall on your head and it could hurt. I've done bridges a lot, so I'm doing it on a hard surface, but you might want a mat like the one over there if you're not totally, like, if you're not totally, like, confident about it, you might want to use that to be safe, but yeah. So if you've done this for a while, you can probably go from standing but if not that's okay and you can just go um from the floor up you don't want to rock back and forth and really get out there and once you've done that you're gonna to want to straighten your legs and push hold this for about 30 seconds you can come down or you can kick over you can go up either i feel like coming down because it's nice and I don't know, but I can do all of them. So you're just going to want to do that twice. Once you've done that, we're going to do some TikToks. So it's kind it's like a bridge, but you go back and forth like TikToks, I guess. That like TikTok, okay. Just watch. You're going to go handstand and over. One sec. Instant over branch, and then you're gonna lift up your good leg <laughs> over, but don't let your bad leg touch now. Touch the floor. You just want one leg touching the floor. Do about five of those. One like there, there is one. So do about five, ten of those, and then. Oh, well, so you can pause the video, or you can just do this after the video if you can't keep up because I'm not holding them all the way. I'm just doing kind of there, there, showing you what to do. So, yeah, once you've done that, you're going to want to get your feet. I like to go in a pike and then just do that with my feet, or I like to do that with my feet. It's kind of either or, so... Just go around as many times as you want. Sometimes in some of the gymnastics camps, they have you like write your name with your foot to like stretch it out. So you can do that if you want. Just remember, stretch both of the, your feet, your ankles. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, just kind of boom, boom, boom. And then you're gonna wanna do like that. It might help to use the ground like that, that, there. Um, another good thing is to have your arms straight, bend it, grab that, 
stretch over. Same with the other arm. Stretch over. Do some circles, you know. Pop your neck if it's sore, I guess. Um, a trick for your hands is to go like that. That. Also, another trick is you go spaghetti, meatballs, cheese. It's just a trick I learned when I was little from one of my coaches. And once you've done all that, you can probably just kind of do some basics of gymnastics, do some handstands, cartwheels, back walkovers, front walkovers to really get you stretching. And yeah, that's all for today, guys. Bye.